All right, so I got version 12.6.4 on our Hardware 3 Model Y, and unfortunately, <laughs> it is terrible. Now I know uh, what a lot of people were talking about with uh, version 12.6.3. Uh, I didn't have any problems with 12.6.3. It seemed like it did pretty well. Um, in fact, it in the comparison between Hardware 3 and Hardware 4, version uh, 12 and 13, uh, it seemed like version 12 actually did a better job overall, even though it did a couple wonky things. But overall, it was actually better uh, because there was no disengagements. And so obviously that's better than the disengagement that I had with version 13. So... It's very strange that 12.6.4 is actually a reversion. Uh, you know, it's definitely gone back to much worse times. I had a couple drives today where it would hug the left lane, the left side of the lane, so it wouldn't center. It did not keep the speed right, even though it should have been just at least going with the flow of traffic. It just wanted to go 10 miles per hour under for no apparent reason. And then also it decided to get in the left lane when we were about to have to get in the right turn lane to turn right. Uh, so all kinds of weird stuff, just completely wrong. I had to disengage in one single drive for five miles, maybe is as far as we went. I disengaged it like three or four times. It was pretty ridiculous. So I don't know what's going on. So the people that commented on my 12.6.3 uh, video where I did a first impressions drive on that. Um, they were talking about how they were having problems with that version and they did a camera calibration. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go ahead and show you how to do a camera calibration and also do a hard reset of the vehicle just to, um, you know, see if that has any impact or, or whatever. I know people did mention that as well. So uh, let's check out a camera calibration. All right, to do a camera calibration, what you'll do is you'll just go into the settings menu, you go to service, and then over here you have camera calibration. It's gonna ask you if you're sure you wanna do this. If you do this, it says it will take as many as 100 miles of driving uh, on well-marked lane line roads uh, before it will be calibrated and you can use FSD again. However, in my experience with like new vehicles that new Teslas I've gotten, or even when I've done a camera calibration in the past, it's usually typically far fewer miles than that. Usually only like 10 miles or less, uh, but uh, it can take up to hundred miles. So that is one thing to keep in mind if you wanted to have FSD for that amount of time. But with this version, uh, really, uh, I, I could not wait to have something better going on with 12.6.4. And especially because a lot of people are saying that it's actually in good shape. So what you do is you just hit the clear calibration and then now it's reset. So if I were to go out on the road and try to put it in FSD, it's going to say, oh, we can't put it in FSD right now because it needs to be uh, calibrated. So another thing that uh, people mentioned to do uh, with this problem that helped their situation is to do a hard reset. So to do a hard reset of the car, what you can do is, and I would suggest you do this in park, you can technically do this while you're in drive, uh, but you lose loss, you lose the screen. Uh, the car will still drive and everything will still work, but um, you can't really see what your speed is. You can't um, anything to sell navigation. So that's really not safe in my opinion. Uh, but <clears throat> so technically uh, you should only do this when you're parked, but You'll press the brake down, hold the two thumb wheels here until you see the Tesla logo, the T logo, show up on the screen. And that is a hard reset. So once it just shows back up there like that, I'll go ahead and let it go. And, you know, it usually takes about a minute or so overall to get that done. Um, and then... Hopefully that clears out any of the problems that it might have had with uh, the camera calibration as with you know, whatever uh, images it had stored or whatever. Uh, I'm not really so sure that the, the re hard reset or even the camera calibration will do anything uh, for our problem here, but worth a try. 
So that's it, just wanted to do a quick uh, camera calibration as well as the hard reset. Two things that I've heard have helped with people that had problems with 12.6.3. I actually haven't heard a lot of people having problems with 12.6.4, but I was shocked that, I mean, it was unusable in, in my opinion, like especially compared to version 13 in another car or even version 12.6.3, which we previously had and I had pretty good luck with, uh, you know, it wasn't great, and I definitely don't think it's as good as version 13, but I was very surprised uh, when we got our update today. I was actually excited to try it because a lot of people are saying so many good things about it. So I uh, hope this helps some others that maybe you had the same situation where you needed to do a camera calibration or hard reset, and maybe that helps you out. And I'll keep you posted and let you know if uh, the camera calibration actually helped out. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll catch you on the next one.